what's going on, everybody? This is me, Akashi, here. And, uh, sorry if I sound sick, because I am sick, but, uh, here today to teach you some, uh, basketball crew. If no, nobody knows what basketball crew is. It's a three-on-three basketball game, and I'm here to teach you basics and how to play. Well, this video is all about the basics. We're going to go through the menus, check everything out and all this, so let's start with the profile, <laughs> profile pretty much uh, gives you stats based on, you know, the best three characters you played with, all your praises, people think you're good, they think you praise you, how many athletes you got, how many friends you have, how many skins you attain, uh, your rep, is pretty much um, if you don't rage quit out of a game, pretty much. That's nothing whatsoever. Then you got like your win streak and your rake. Your rake basically goes up as you play your eight matches. Um, you also have your avatar setting, which you can change accordingly. I have mine as Mary because I used to play Mary. I still kind of play Mary. I don't play Mary no more. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, and you yeah, have like you know stats like your last hundred matches and and just the load all your matches, which combines everything between every game that you played. Um, then you have your daily task. Um, which I gotta claim that anyway. Bad guys. <laughs> Daily tasks pretty much have uh, this stuff. Level 50 that don't even work. Let's get on that. Uh, your daily task basically you get five little boxes up here and you do uh, things daily and you get your uh, activity up. Accordingly to 130 every day, and you can attain each and every box. But like you have your weeklies on the side, which I'm about to attain right here, and you get that to a thousand. But you have to do that weekly, so it's always good to sign in and get that. Plus, it's a good way of grinding to um, upgrade your athletes and all that, which I'll get into later on and stuff. Um, you know, there's different types of missions. Oh, and, uh, I'm just gonna, add, I guess, point this out. Well, this little mission right here, A Pleasure for Sight. Um, if you wanted to watch people play games, you would click on this, and then you have, like, the Heavenly, which I think it's, like, people playing the game, and then the athletes part of it, I think that's your friends. Not exactly sure, but uh, once you're in this, you would uh, basically see a whole bunch of videos pop up. You just, you know, press the play button, and then they'll actually, if you want to watch the video, and uh, you just click this. Um, just going to repeat this probably twice. Um, once you're in there, do not send the message, because once you send the message, this little forward button won't be there no more. So, you just want to go in there, watch good, and watch people play. You go to this mission here, a pleasure with sight, press forward, and then they should, you press one of these, and then they should pop up. But like I said, once you're in there, do not send a message, because after that, that's it. They won't let you back in there. So yeah, that's the daily. It's always important to do your dailies, because why would you not do your dailies? You know what I mean? Um, then you have your rankings, um, pretty much it's, you know, your ranking, and you get this from playing the game, playing ranks, and all kinds of stuff like that, you know, and they have, like, different ranks, depending on, uh, different things you do. You also have player ranks depending on what character you use and what position. Um, 
Yeah, so rank, um, just play rank, and that's how you get up there. You can't really do anything else. You just have to play rank matches, and pretty much, uh, yeah. Then you have your single mode, which pretty much, um, is your single player. Plot is pretty much the story, which I haven't finished yet. But uh, it's a good way for starting people that's just starting the game to actually level up and uh, get the uh, coins and stuff out of the game. Um, I think they also give love like trial versions of each character that you complete. I haven't finished it yet. I'm probably not going to, but yeah. Um, training pretty much, uh, teaches you about the game, um, and, like, you have, like, the basic, the newbie training, which, basically, once you start the game, you automatically go on that newbie training, and you have the upgrade training, which, once you clear those, you get, uh, coins and stuff. And then you have the skill training, which uh, teaches you about the skills, which um, I'll talk about that in a later video. And then you have PvE, which is basically player versus computer. Um, this will come at a later date, this whole match thing. And what the freak just happened? <laughs> All right, I don't know what the freak just happened just now, but um, this is weird. <laughs> All I wanted to do was show that off, but uh, all right. Oh. This is the training thing I was talking about. I didn't know. Um, that was weird. This. I don't know why that loaded up, like, at random. But, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Uh, you got, like, the match, which it's a feature that I don't know what it is. You have your PvP. Create a room that you, you and your friends can uh, play one on one, two on two, one on three. And you got the three on three single, which gotta go into that, but we don't wanna go into that. You got your one on one, two v two, your uh, bots. So basically, you and two friends versus bots, and then you got your three v three. Um, when you first get, when you first play the game, you kind of want to do PvP, like, especially, like, the 3v3 PvP when you first play the game, and then when you get to a certain level, then you want to start doing some of the story, because, uh, it's just better for you to just do the story, you get all your stuff up. And then you have rank match. So, when you first start rank match, you're like the lowest level of the lowest level. You gotta get like stars to rank up. Now I'm at Hall of Fame, and that's the highest at the moment until one, one on one XP decides to freaking update the game again and give us Wonderful, which is, I think, the highest you can go. But as of right now, it's Hall of Fame. So, Basically, you can play rank by yourself by doing single, or you can team up with a couple of friends. Now, mind you, you can still do single, even though you play. You pick team up, you just start match, and you can still do it. This thing likes to load a lot, but yeah, you can still do it, and you just wait until, you know, you get a rank match and then you play. And 
uh, depending on if you win or lose, you either gain a star or you lose a star. Um, they also have like season goals that you have to that you can do that gives you rewards based on you know what you do in the ranked games and all that. Um, and down here, um, where you see like the seventeen thousand coins and stuff. So uh, at the end of each season, you're gonna get that in your mail, and that all depends on what rank that you are at the end of the season. So, um, my advice is to get as high as possible in the season. Um, grind. <laughs> this is just going to tell you that. Grind. Even though you don't even have friends on, you know, um, the good thing about ranked at the moment is you can play bots. So, just grind the Hall of Fame as of right now. It'll be easier. For you to just grind and pretty much uh, get all these rewards right here. Um, let's see. What's next? Um, went over daily tasks, went over thing. Oh, okay. So your loot. Um, basically, from here, this is like your loot size. You have like your normal loot. And you have your red loop. Normal loop pretty much uh, refills. I think it's every five minutes. I can't remember. And I know the red loop takes a little longer. I think it's like every 15 minutes or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, these are good ways to get skills and uh, potential pieces for your character. Which, like I said, I'll go up there in another video. Um, and then you have the athletes, which is the characters in the game. Which, obviously, I don't have everybody, I don't think. Do I? Like, you have, like, each character in the game. And, uh, you know, you extra five positions, uh, point guard, shoot guard, small forward, power forward, center. And each character have like their own little ultimate. Which uh everybody can do. Once uh they reach a certain number in the match, I think. Yeah. So basically you play you're playing the match, and your ult will, like, charge over time. So I don't even have everybody. Not in this one. Anyway, I don't think I have anybody in any of my vegan accounts. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, your ult charges over time. So, for um, this lady here, uh, her ult is the absolute past. So, basically, at... I think, uh, you, oh, it has the charge to, I think, at least a thousand, and then you can use it. So, basically, her, oh, it's basically, hey, I have this, like, super pass that I can pass to my teammate, and it's automatically a nice pass, no matter what. Um, obviously, over here, you have, like, a regular suit, and then you have, like, different skins that you can put on, and... The cool thing about skins is uh, they have stat boosts. So I have all her skins, and all her skins have different stat boosts depending on. Uh, basically, it depends on how I'm playing, or who I'm playing with at the moment, or who I'm playing against at that moment. That's how I do my uh, suits and stuff. And then they have like potential. <coughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of sick. Um, so, potential helps them, you know, uh, run faster and stuff. Depends on the character. Every every position has, like, uh, different ways of, like, different potential options for the most part. Um, so, like, 
C doesn't have threes, but a SG will have a three potential, and so on and so forth. And then uh, you got skills, which, like I said, this is basically uh, skills are basically how you uh, maneuver in the game pretty much. I mean, you can't really do anything without skills. Um, and like I said, I'll get more to that in another video, but this is pretty much like the moves of the game. <laughs> like, you can't really do anything without skills. You know, and I'll get to like how to upgrade and all that, which I'm probably going to need to upgrade a couple of them, but yeah. I'll get to all that. Um, so that's athletes. Um, inventory, it's just, uh, your inventory, like, it just has, like, all your potential pieces and stuff. Um, speaking of potential pieces, um, let me go back and say athletes and potential. Um, like, at the bottom here, this is all talking about potential pieces. Like, you need, like, a certain amount of stuff to actually, uh, raise their potential. Um, I think the max is probably, like, 13 or 14, so. Which, you need, like, a bunch of the potential pieces, plus, like, a lot of coins. So, save your coins and save your diamonds as much as possible, um, so, back to inventory, so, <laughs> so you got inventory, so that's, that's, uh, your inventory, it's where you keep, like, all your stuff, you know, you got, like, trial characters that I haven't even used, because I pretty much have just about everybody, um, skill shard, now, skill shards, uh, a little different skill serves. I think it's like once you get 20 of them, then it becomes an actual skill. But you need 20 of them. But like I said, I'll give it a good, I'll get to that at a later time. Um, you yeah, have potential and then event items, which one on one XP needs to get up on that, get us some events going because uh, this game, uh, yeah, <laughs> I ain't seen any events yet since I played. Um, skills is just the skills for each character. Self explanatory. Like I said, I'll get to that in another moment. Um, trainers. Um, well, um, all right. <laughs> I was like, what they talking about there? Um, trainers are pretty much, uh, pretty much your coaches. Um, you know, I, I call them coaches. Each coach do different things depending on, uh, you know, the effect and everything. Like, everybody can use every coach, but, like, do you have the suggestions? Like, for instance, everybody's... Goodness, go ahead. Everybody starts off with him. But, um, as you level up, you want a lot more and more coaches or trainers or whatever. I just, we just, we just call them coaches. You, uh, unlock different coaches as time goes by. And, uh, so, for instance, any everybody can use him, but like it's suggested that uh, small fours and SG um, shooting guards use uh, lightning. And I don't know why she's named Nick Zala, but all right, yeah, same thing. Like you have like SG and PGs use her still chance, holding chance, which again I will get some. Uh, all the stats and all that and how they work in this game in a later video. Yeah, trainers. Then you have your badges. Now your badges are kinda like the meat potato of the game. Um this is like how to raise your stats and everything. And badges pretty much work for everybody that you play with. Not just one character. It's everybody. Like, even though I have it as PG, but I can put SG and put P and play PG and pretty much 
it'll work the same way. Like, and again, um, I'll get to badges at a later date, but pretty much badges are like the Uber tickets in the game. Like, you can't really be good unless you have badges. Um, and badges and skills go together, just to be honest. Then you have team. Team is pretty much a uh, cruise. I have my crew right here. Uh, team Cook. You know, we just... <laughs> team Cook. They have a request for some reason. I don't even know these people. Anyway, um... So, basically, um... This is cruise. So, basically, you can come here. You can either join a crew, or you can make a crew. I think it's like 5,000 diamonds to make a crew. I said 5,000, 500 diamonds to make a crew. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick. Um, and, and that's another thing that uh, I kind of want to iterate with uh, the devs about crews because there's not, like, not really any incentive to crews other than to make one. That have bragging rights about who's the best crew. It's, like, this game needs a lot. I'm not going to go lie, but it's still a good game. Um, but yeah, like, um, with crews, pretty much it's 15 players to a team. Um, pretty much it. Um, like, the rank requirement, you can change it where, like, uh, only a certain rank can get in. You have to be a certain rank to get in. And then on top of that, you have to send a request. <coughs> or not, you can change that. So if you could know, then anybody can just join in. I have mine just. So you have to send a request before you can get in here. Um, so that's that. And the shop is pretty much just that. Just the shop. So you go to um, shop. I've discounted. You have characters, skins, items, um, fragments to get characters and skins. Well, certain skins. I pretty much got like all of them, just about. <coughs> Privilege, um, pretty much, uh, like with these, you're not going to be able to get this right off the bat. Um, you have to actually spend a little bit of money to at least get, I think it's silver. And then, like, I'm going to work on with gold and platinum and all this other stuff. So, it's good to actually spend just a little bit of money just so you can get the benefit of uh, these because these are actually really good. I say a little bit. Don't go crazy on it. I'm, 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 I've noticed people, some people be going crazy on it. It's like, you, do, you just spend a little bit of money just to get the little bit of benefits of it, but that's it. Um, let me go ahead and grab these. Um, then you have the secret shop. The secret shop is pretty much uh, good ways to get potential and stuff. And um, actually, you can get fancies in here too. So, you know, go ahead and uh, go through the secret shop. If you see something you like, you might want to buy it. Especially if it's purple, because that's like a really good thing. Um, fancies, eh, it is what it is. Don't need them, but they're good to have. It's the fun to have because fancies are really hard to block. Um, what else? I think that is it for the main menu. Oh, my bad. No, it's not. And then, like, you have, like I said, your coins. Which is there to buy stuff? Your diamonds is there to buy, buy stuff in the shop and like uh, actually see through the coins. You can buy coins, but like you only you won't get like as good as 
is just like uh, the diamonds. But like I said, I'll get to that in a later video. Um, then you have your friends list. You know, where you see all your friends and all that. You got your mail and your settings. You got your options. So you can change your view. Um, display flag and all that. You have uh, your frames per second, your effects. <coughs> uh, you change your buttons. Change the sound. I have no idea what this is. And this is like uh, if you see bugs in the game, you can actually uh, send them to 101 XP. And hopefully, pray to God, they do something about it. But lately, it hasn't really been any like, bugs like that. It's just been, uh, I wouldn't say bugs. It more has to be like, uh, like, we ain't getting stuff, I guess you could say. Like, we're getting level 50, but we're not getting our rewards, I guess you could say. I mean, honestly, I guess this is like you redeem a code and you get stuff, but uh, like I said, I haven't really seen anything about that. Um, then you got your pain, which mine is okay, <laughs> and I think that is it. oh no, that's not it. Um, one more thing, um, this right here, this is like your VIP system, so basically, uh, I got 10 days left for this, so it's good to get these. Because um, this is like a really, really good way to grind, especially like if you're planning to be a long-term PC player. So you want to grab both of these. You know, just grab one, grab both of them. Because uh, one, you get 900 cash, and then every day you get 90. Um, every day you'll get 90 diamonds. And then on top of that, um, when it comes to uh. what I want to say, when it comes to character skills, um, without the VIP, you only get six slots, but with the VIP, you get eight, so, yeah, big difference between six and eight slots on your, uh, character, <laughs> so, yeah, I think that is everything you know this is just rap <laughs> which um yeah but i think that's everything that i can explain oh and you got the chat my bad <laughs> you got the chat so with chat um you got the the little horn thing which uh you press it and then you can like scream out stuff and it pops up on the top of the screen. And you got the world chat. You got the friends chat. You can chat with individual twins. The team chat is pretty much like the crew chat. And unit <coughs> is pretty much like the screen room. It's pretty much like, hey, I need a teammate to play this game on. But, like, instead of... So, for instance, if you're in rank and you need a C, you can actually throw out an invite, an invite saying, hey, I need a C, and whoever is a C can actually join your game, so I think that is it, so hopefully I explained that really well, I probably didn't, but it's okay though, um, like I said, sorry about everything, I am sick, but uh, yeah, that is BC. In a nutshell, like, that, that's what we call it. We call it BC. It's Basketball Crew. That is Basketball Crew in a nutshell. And I will check you guys later.